Good morning, and welcome to New Food Who Dis, the show where we get reacquainted with food that's antiquated. And y'all better get your merkins ready, because today we're making a dish called the Burning Bush. Today's recipe comes from 300 Tasty Healthful Dairy Dishes, published in 1940 by the Culinary Arts Institute. Now whether this dish is actually tasty or healthful is up for debate, but at the very least it was a way to show your neighbors and those ladies from church who was boss. Uh, Janice is the talk of the town just because she made a tomato aspic in the shape of a penis. Well, wait till they get a load of my burning bush. Now if you weren't aware, this name, the burning bush, refers to a scene in the Bible. In the biblical narrative, the burning bush was where Moses was told by God that he was to lead the Israelites out of Egypt. But based on this recipe and its ingredients, the only thing this burning bush is telling me is to break out the toilet paper, because it's gonna get rough. And I really do think the biblical thing is pretty odd, especially given the time. I'm what you call an amiable, low-voltage atheist, but naming a cream cheese appetizer after such a pivotal scene in the Bible just seems sacrilegious. But I guess it's okay if it's sacrilegious. <laughs> Kill me. Now to make this showstopper, we need just four ingredients. We need one grapefruit, three ounces cream cheese, about 1,000 toothpicks, and a quarter pound of chipped beef. Now if you're unfamiliar with chipped beef, it's basically pre-sliced dehydrated beef loaf that's uh, sliced thin and then stuffed into a jar like it's a wad of money. And chipped beef is an integral ingredient in probably a better known dish known as shit on a shingle. Get it? The toast is the shingle and the beef is the shit. Back to the burning bush. Here's the instructions. Dry beef and crumble. Divide cheese into tall pieces and roll each into a ball. Roll each ball and chip beef until entirely coated. Place a toothpick through each ball and stick them in a grapefruit. Now I put my cream cheese in the freezer to make it easier to handle and to dry the beef. I just put mine in the oven for about 15 minutes at 325. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this dry chip beef in this bag so I can crumble it up. These things look like uh, giant dry chewed up nipples. Oh. The smell from this is just... So next step, I need to portion out 12 balls from 3 ounces of cream cheese. Okay, now I'm going to just wet my fingers and make little balls. I think those are ball-like enough. Now to coat them in chip beef. That's it, I'm done. 12 balls. But I think someone at the Culinary Arts Institute fucked up on these portions. There's so much shit beef left. Whatever. Time for final assembly. So the next step is to take each of these 12 balls and impale them into this grapefruit. And when grapefruiting for this recipe, you want to make sure that your grapefruit is just the right size. Not too big, not too small, just approximate. So I don't know the right placement for these, but I, I mean, one's got to go right in the middle, right? Oh, Jesus. You know what, just looking at this, this is not what I would consider to be a showstopper at a luncheon. I mean, sure, it looks like a lot of things. It looks like the guy from Hellraiser, the scary toy from Toy Story. Hell, it even looks like a virus under a microscope. But does it look like a burning bush? Uh... But I think the only thing left to do is to try this, because if it tastes good, who gives a shit about how it looks? Shall we? I mean, I guess it's good. It tastes fine. It mostly tastes like cream cheese. Definitely nothing spectacular about it. The chip beef also kind of tastes like dog food, but like the dog food that kind of smells good. Maybe it's just me. It's definitely easy to eat. Very little chewing required, but I also feel a little weird. I just ate like a ton of cheese. My lips are shriveling from all the salt and the chip beef. That is a, that is a lot of work for something that is pretty mediocre tasting. It's not bad, it's just meh, meh. And it doesn't even look like a burning bush. Maybe because of the biblical name, I was expecting more of a uh, revelation. <laughs> so what's the verdict? What say ye, rip or resurrect? I'm gonna go ahead and say rip. I can't know for sure, but my guess is that, you know, one of the reasons that this dish kind of went out of fashion is because people figured out how to use the ingredients better. How do you put more flavor in the cream cheese? Bacon, nuts, 
garlic and chives, just anything to put more flavor into the cream cheese. Also, people probably figured out that like, you don't need to display it in a fucking grapefruit. Just put them on a plate, line it up, people eat it, that's it. All that said, we can let this go to rest. Or you can resurrect the idea and build upon it. I don't know, I'm just sort of spitballing here. Or maybe I'm cheeseballing here. Well, that's my train of thought. So it's time to let this recipe go. I was the last one hanging on to it. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. If you got cream cheese, use it for something else. If you got a grapefruit, you know what to do with it. If you got chip beef, what are you doing? And uh, glad I got that toilet paper ready. See ya.